What it do, gang? It's your boy Jay, and I'm back with another video, man. Bright sunny day out here on this good Friday. Just wanted to tap back in with y'all, make a video. It is Friday. We have started our first week at the new job, man. At the new job, uh, we got our truck today. We just went and picked that up, and as you can see, we are day cab, man. Day cab. Had two trucks to choose from. It was either International or this Cascadia. And I'm going with the Cascadia because I know how they ride. And yes, sir, we are driving. We went driving, man. Just for a little, just to try it out, see how it is. It's a home everyday job. Um, Monday through Friday no weekends and it was paying good money so i had i had to go with it man i ain't gonna lie like i said in the previous video man i ain't got nothing bad to say about maverick man it was just that if it only makes sense that if you're if i could i looked at it like this if I can get a job home every day making the same money, if not more money than what I was making, why not? And that's just what that's what came down to the decision, man. Like I said in the last video, I had two options. And really, I was wanting to go with this other job. CMC Steel posted a job the same time I found this job. Uh, well, I found this job from a friend of mine. But... I filled out for both of them. Heard back from this job instantly because I used my friend as a referral. So found the CMC steel job, flatbed. So of course I'm gonna apply for that. It took them forever to get back with me. So I had already almost had my, I had my foot in the door with this company because I never heard nothing back from CMC steel. So they called me back on a Wednesday giving me all the information rundown or whatever the case may be. So they told me what they could pay me. I told them what this job was paying me. She said, I'll call you right back. Talk to the superintendent, see if we can get close to that. They got 40 cent less. So I said, okay, I'll take that. I'll take 40 cent less because it's flatbed. I love flatbed, I ain't gonna lie. It just driving, it, it's take, I gotta get used to it. But that was Wednesday. She said, okay, okay, Will, okay, you'll take that. So, yeah, the only thing we got to do is get you drug testing and clean house and all that stuff. We'll set that up tomorrow. When can you do an interview? When she said tomorrow, tomorrow was Thursday. So I said, I can, we can set that up. I can go ahead and fill all that out, and I can come for an interview Friday because I had used vacation at Maverick for my last two days, Thursday and Friday. So Thursday come, she never called, never sent over the information. So I waited right at closing time on Friday, five, right at 4.30. And I texted her and I asked her, I said, "Is um, no, I just, I texted her Friday. I said, are we still on for the interview today? Because you never sent over the clearinghouse information or anything like that. She said, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry for the, um, for not messaging you, but I just got a late update. The position has been filled. So I'm like, dang, you called me a day and a half ago and y'all already filled it and didn't call me so i didn't only thing i could think of they probably found somebody that was gonna take it for what they were offering and i wanted a i wanted close to what this job was offering so that's maybe the case it may have been i don't know so we went with this man so it's i trained with a guy on the road yes no day before yesterday just a couple drops, couple pickups, nothing heavy. I think when I went out with him the other day, we had a total of 10,000 pounds. And it's carpet, uh, tile flooring, stuff like that. So seemed pretty simple when I rode out with him the other day. So I know I'm going to be running, they say, the Raleigh-Durham area. So, man, we're going to try it out, man. See how it is, man. This something different, man. We're going to see the how the home daily daily gig is because i ain't gonna lie i kind of got wore out on that road i got tired of staying at truck stops every night and for the, for the money that if i can make the same money why not be home every day like so had to tap in with y'all on that As a matter of fact i'm getting loaded up right now he's loading me up right now i just went in there and checked in and hey 
it is what it is, man. We're going to try it out for a little bit. Because if I could have called a local flatbed company out of all the ones I filled out for, I definitely would have stayed flatbed. Who knows? Might go back. I don't know, man. I ain't going to lie. It's, it's different than flatbed. I'm, I mean, it's... No, it ain't nothing hard about it. I'm just saying. I guess because I got so used to flatbed, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But you know I had to tap in with you guys and let y'all know what was going on, man. Y'all like, share, comment, subscribe to the video, man. Um, this is just picked up the truck today and got back to the terminal, set everything up. Got our tablet and stuff set up. Just a little simple day cab. It's clean in here. Got to buy it. I think we got like 220,000 miles on the dash and the company they use uh Penske Penske Reynolds and Ryder I think. So we picked this up two trucks up from Penske today. One was an international and it rolled rough and I was like we're going to pick up the second one. I hope it's a Cascadia. Man, got in this Cascadia, man, it's riding smooth, way better than that international. So I chose to go with the Cascadia since I'm familiar with it. So that's where we at. And he told me he just wanted me to come pick up this load and then come right back in 2.30. He could take off, have a, have a good weekend, and we start fresh on Monday. And it's only two uh, me and two other drivers, so it's like a little, it's a little cool laid back type facility job or whatever it's only three drivers at the moment but they have terminals everywhere the company is called express global i don't know if i told y'all that express global logistics so yeah that's who i went with man not a lot of not a lot of gigs around the charlotte area like i thought it would be but and it's a local p i'm a local pnd driver pickup and delivery driver they also have line hall and at the other terminals and my, like my friend in greenville south carolina the only thing he does is go back and forth just picking up two three trailers a day and he's done so that's where we at man and i think he's done loading me up so let me check with him and get these doors closed so i can get on the road man y'all stay locked in with me all right guys i'm back and just wanted to finish this video off um just getting into a little bit more about like the pay of the new job and the pay of the new job that I have is hourly. So 27 an hour and all of the jobs that I looked at around the Charlotte area, especially like the flatbed jobs, it was a lot of Moffitt, uh, flatbed truck with the Moffitt on the back. And, uh, most of those jobs, man, they paid around the 24, 25 mark. And I feel like that's low considering it's flatbed work and you have to, some loads you have to unload it at these job sites and stuff like that. Cause a lot of the flatbed companies around here is very few local ones, but that's around about what they pay. And one thing that gets me, I know you guys may have heard of r &L. I looked into r and and it's crazy cause in Charlotte they pay r &L pays like, when I seen it, it was like $27.45, some, something like that. Then you go right down about an hour and 20 minutes to Piedmont, South Carolina. The same job is $32.50. It's like a $5 difference. And it just, I just don't understand how like the city job, I mean, the jobs here in the city, like Charlotte, as big as Charlotte is, it only, um, they only they don't pay as much and that's what it, it kind of throws me off but and i'm gonna address something else before you for any of you guys that watch the video oh he don't want to he ain't a real driver because he don't want to he wants to be home this that and the third actually that's not true because the when i first started looking around for different jobs my number one thing was getting into car hauling and I got in the door, United Road. If you guys are looking for a car hauler position, United Road, they, um, they, I uh, heard they were pretty good. So I went through them, the application process. I did my phone interview. Everything was good. The recruiter, she told me that they had OTR available. 
they had regional available and they had they were going to have like semi-local which was 300 to 500 mile radius so the car hauling that's exactly what i wanted to jump in so went through my application process did my but the recruiter i spoke with she said that i would be running the regional uh she said it was let me see she said it was three to five days out home three to five days out that's what she told me she said she said three to five days or you could do five to seven you could have your choice on how you wanted to work that so that sounded excellent to me because like i said getting into this uh trucking industry i was only my a week two weeks max two weeks that's my max i'm not staying out longer than that so she said that jumped on it went through it, all the process so when i got to my phone interview i had the phone interview it was a zoom interview this was with one of the top guys so going through all of that with him come to find out what she said didn't match up to what he was saying he was telling me that it was otr so i'm like so how long would you be running he was like you can run 10 20 days out as long as you wanted to so i'm going through everything with him i'm just listening so they called back sent me the job offer the lady called back the recruiter did so i explained to her i said i couldn't take it because the 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 hiring manager he told me it was otr and you told me it was regional and she was like yeah there's been a um a lot of miscommunication here she was like she just had a guy get hired he went he got hired but he was coming in thinking he was going to be local but it was regional he didn't take it so mine was i'm thinking i'm coming in going to be regional car hauling with them and it was actually otr 10 14 days minimum so I turned that down. So and then like CarMax car hauling around here, they only the they're home every day, but they only pay twenty three dollars an hour, and that's no money for a uh, car like car hauling three loads a day. Like that's not worth that type of money. But good starting point if you want to get into the car hauling or whatever. But I jumped on the job that I found that paid the most money here in my area which R&L pays like a coat. They pay a little more, but I have had applied to them a long time ago and never really heard nothing back. So that's why we jumped on HGS, man. It's like I said, $27 an hour. It's, and that's, we're going to see how that's different than cents per mile because you know the cents per mile, you chasing those miles and hourly. Hey, you getting paid by the hour, not by the mile. So definitely wanted to try that out. And then it's time and a half after 40. So I figured you come in, I'm going to be running. Uh, my Raleigh Durham is three and a half hours away from here. So round trip, just driving that six and a half, that's seven hours. So I uh, talked to a guy at the job. He said the Raleigh account, you're going to be looking at anywhere between 10 and 14 hour days. So you do that time and a half at the 40 39 dollars an hour at the 40 so that's gonna be some pretty good money it's gonna be more than what i was making in maverick but that's why we went with that decision like i said man we just gonna try it out man see how it is and as far as the training when we was i was out on the road with the guy last week it doesn't seem too bad at all like most of the stuff is carpet and the carpet rolls and like if i have to we're really not supposed to touch much, uh, touch the freight, but you can, like they said, some places we have to, but like you can literally pick it up with one arm and throw it on your shoulder. Like the carpet rolls, they're, they're really light. So, and then the stuff that's too heavy, you know, you got your Fort Lift guys that are coming in and get that stuff off. So really don't like to it's disclose too much of the pay scale and stuff like that but people be wanting to know so i'm just giving you what i got going on my experiences on what's out there only thing i can tell you guys is like man when you're looking for these jobs man look around shop around know your worth man don't be out here working for nothing like even if you cents per mile even everybody has to start somewhere but man like 45 cents a mile, I, I had a guy tell me he's 
three years experience and he just left a job. Uh, well, his account, he was making 70 cents and the job that he's looking into is only paying him for 45 cents with three years experience and a clean record. Nah, you know your worth. Don't, don't settle for nothing like that. 45 cents a mile, that's highway robbery. So, but yeah, man, we're local now. Huh. This uh, tomorrow is Monday. Last day on the road with the trainer. Then Tuesday they cut me loose. So, like I said, got my truck, Cascadia. Uh, and that's just it, man. Any questions, man, y'all feel free. Reach out to me, man. I'm going to get on up out of here. I'm going to drop this video today, y'all. Don't forget, like, share, comment, subscribe to the video. Any questions you have, reach out to me, man. The, all my information will be in the description below, man. Y'all stay cool, gang.